Well, hi there, people. Um, back with some more three minute action. And, well, I'm, I'm again trying to get my rating up to 2600. I, I had a bit of a, a bit of reversal, shall we say. And I'm now playing this chap here from, let me just find out, uh, is that Romania? I can't really see. Yeah, Romania. Okay, so let's uh, see how things go here. And, um, okay, so spending a lot of time in the opening here, so I'm going to try and quicken my speed up somewhat. And, okay, well, this is, uh, I quite like this system I've played. I have uh, experimented with it a lot of times as bishop b4, bishop e7. It's an old idea of um, one of my favourite players of all time, Alexei Shirov. And, you know, it's always nice to follow the ideas of our favourite players. And we kind of get a King's Indian-like structure now, except my bishop is on this square. So not an ideal square, I must admit, for the bishop. And now I'm going to put my queen here, um, and ideas were to go e4, e5, which my opponent has obviously stopped there. So let's uh, get a King's Indian structure now by fianchettoing this bishop of mine. And it looks like it's probably going to be best placed on g7 here. Uh, but again, I need to think of a plan here. Okay, well now now I've got the c5 square, I'll, I'll move into here. But will I get kicked away b4 quickly? Because if I do, my position could start to look quite dubious, actually, in actual fact. Um, so if he goes a3, okay, well, let's take on d5 now with ideas of bishop d7 and potentially queenside play. So we could go queen takes d5 and structurally speaking this is quite good for my opponent but I'm hoping because of my backwards d pawn but I'm hoping tactically I can get some action going. I'm not sure about f5 because it opens up his bishop here. So what breaks do I have? Well he's going to try to hit this one. Could I even go for a strange b5 break? I mean, my knight's a very nice piece here on c5, and he can't go a3 because b3 drops. So I think a decent plan here, by the looks of it, is indeed to go b5 and then a4 later on to try to free up uh, my rook's position. So my opponent quite naturally stopping that idea. And now I'm going to stop a knight coming to g5. Looks, looks like the right plan. And OK, a fairly balanced position here. I'll defend this one. I've just got to keep my knight on this square. And what other plans do I have? Well, I don't really like the positioning of my queen. So I'm either going to move it to b6 or c6. c6 attacks e4. And b6, maybe some pressure on the queen side then. But I think c6 looks more natural, doesn't it? So my opponent sees this coming. And I have to say he's playing <clears throat> very good, sensible moves at this moment in time. And... I'll put my queen here anyway, and it might be time to break with some f5 move at some point, potentially. Because um, otherwise I'm kind of lacking lacking a bit of counterplay here, aren't I? I mean, I'd love to have my rook on f8 and then go f5 here. Um, so my opponent is now interesting plan there. We all like it when Harry gets going. Okay, well, let's now try to get rook f8. I mean, I could have gone f5. I'm going to try to get it in ideal circumstances, if I can. Um, I want to get my rook to take on f5. But maybe I'll play f5 next move. If he attacks d6 like he did before, I'm hoping I always have a rook to a6 to defend things. But maybe rook d2. Perfectly natural idea from my opponent here. And other ideas I have is actually just bishop g4 now. So actually, I quite like my position, because if he ever tries to double on the default, e falls weak. This seems like a perfectly good square for me, just trying to take his wayward pawn, actually. I mean, f5 was, of course, a, a, a decent move. And now he's gone Now he's gone for some tactics, so this does not surprise me. But I, 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 don't believe, I don't believe it, I have to admit. So let's just grab everything and take everything. I'm going to take his whole house. And I'm a whole rook up here, so, I mean, obviously, I can still lose this because I can get hustled, but um, 
I don't believe this. I don't believe this at all from my opponent. So, um, I mean, I can even just retreat this knight, can't I? Let's. Just, I mean, I could just go here and try to get queen c8 in. Obviously, if I get the queens off, I'm completely winning. If he ever goes h6, I'm hoping I can just take it and a move like queen e4, queen c8, queen d7. I'm a rook up. I mean, uh, kind of, uh, kind of an interesting idea for my opponent, but also just a rubbish idea and uh, I know I know these sacrifices I, I've tried them many times myself so as you can see in these type of positions you just aim to okay not lose on time not get tricked so I've got to avoid getting tricked here let's just let's just keep my concentration because he's suddenly getting some tricks against me which I, I, I shouldn't have allowed here it's a bit slack of me with this, this one coming in. Oh dear. Um, that was very slack of me. Oh god, in my time as well. Ugh, okay, quick. Time, Mark. Time, Simon. Time. Okay. Oof. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it, it wouldn't be the first time I've lost the rook up. Um, but all in all, his, his his sacrifice didn't didn't actually deserve to work there. God, I'm only 17 points away from that magic mark again. So okay, um, I've actually just released a DVD on this opening here, and that wasn't killer D4, but I did one for chess base actually um, on this setup, which I think I well I think it's fair to say I understand reasonably well. I've had quite a lot of games in this uh, type of position. Um, I don't okay. I mean, white white's generally always slightly better in this type of structure, but black's very solid as well. Um, I mean, positionally speaking, I have uh, maybe I can even push. Let's let's go for the the most now. A five is normal response. Yeah, and now I'm just going to keep trying to trying to pressurize a little bit on the queen side. I want to go bishop b two. And now, well, this d-pawn is, is pinned down. I'll take once. And this is uh, one of the good things about my position. I can even go knight here, can't I? But let's just develop first. Bishop b2. And now even knight c6 is intriguing here. Okay, well, let's try this one. I don't know if this was right because it might involve a pawn sack. But uh, I quite like my bishop on g2, so I want to try to, you know, encourage him to give up that bishop there even it cost me a pawn but maybe this is uh, the wrong way to go about things here still should have some pressure I feel two bishops on the position but I don't know if it's enough actually yeah I was a bit I mean if you've got a good position there is that I mean knight d4 there was much more sensible I'm not sure why I didn't play that straight away actually much better way to play now I'm a pawn down but okay my bishop on g2 is a very good piece so I think it's clear compensation his pawn on d5 is weak and I have actually here some attacking chances. So let's 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 go for knight f5. It was Kasparov who said a knight on f5 is worth a pawn. And here with the queen coming over and my bishop on b2, it could be the storm is brewing. He said if you get a knight to f5 and your opponent can't kick that away, maybe he can go g6, but then my bishop increases in power. But if you can't kick this knight away, Kasparov said, he wasn't actually the first person, but he's, he made a point that it's worth a pawn. So it's a good little tip there. If you ever get a knight to this square, when your opponent has castled, it's often a fantastic, a fantastic attacking unit. Okay, so, well, let's, let's, let's go in, shall we? Let's go in and uh, try, to, try to get this attack brewing here. So... Um, King f8 looks forced. And now how do we continue in this position? Well, maybe let's... More firepower, I think, first. Attack d5. I want to play e4. e4 is a natural progression of my position to open my other bishop up. So can I play this now? I mean, the other idea is just to simply take here. I mean, maybe... Okay, let, let's let's take here. Get rid of a knight, which could be a useful defender of my opponent's position. And, well, it's a very murky position, because if f6 works here, what do I do? f6, I'm hoping i got queen d2, rook takes e2, 
I take on d7, he takes here, I take here, he takes here, rook f7 is checkmate at the end. If you can follow that variation, f6, queen d2, and things would be looking very good there for me. Okay, so here there's two interesting moves. Queen f4 threatens mate. Is there anything actually more? It's just, it's, it's, it smells, I can smell a rat here. Well, let's threaten mate, first of all. It doesn't matter if he takes my rook, because I'll mate him. And mate is uh, obviously more worrying than that. And let's just see if I can keep the pressure on his structure here. Is my knight good? Is it bad? I don't know. But if I can get all my other pieces working, rook d1, rook d7 is then a monstrous threat, taking advantage of his pinned knight. So that's a natural move, trying to exchange queens. That's a good move, a good move. Because obviously the queen exchange, well, we don't want that, do we? Mm, I don't really want to do that either. If I take here, bishop takes time situation, keep an eye on the time. Okay, well, I'll, that's a good move, queen e4. Now he's, he's kind of turning the tables a bit here. My knight could be in trouble. Um, how do I attack in this position? He's, he's played this well. He's actually just going to try and grab this knight, bloody greedy. That's very difficult to deal with in my situation on the clock. Okay, if I go rook here, he takes here. Need a good move here. Need a good move. Okay. Well, I'm going to start with this one, and I haven't got time to... I haven't got time to uh, think here now. I want to go queen c1 if he takes on e2, unless I can see any tactics. Okay, well, at least this covers my knight, and he's defended very well so far. Okay. Get it in. Oh, I've dropped a piece. Shizer. And he didn't see it. Thankfully, I'm still playing very risky. Maybe far too risky. God, he's desperate to get these guys off, isn't he? Desperate. Ooh, okay, come on. Time to increase. Oh, okay, increase the. The clock is going to be key here, isn't it? Well, okay, obviously uh, he, he, he deserved better than that, to be honest, because of his, his defense was very good there, but the other thing is, of course, if you spend a lot of time working out the best moves in blitz chess, you will be in danger of getting hustled on the clock. So that's the thing with blitz. You can't just play the best moves. You, you, you have to combine that with actually playing practical moves. It's not all about playing the best moves, which is weird because chess should be about playing the best moves, but not actually in uh, blitz chess. You have to play practical, good moves that keep the pressure on your opponents. So that's why attacking in blitz is, is is a very decent thing to do. Okay, now Dutch versus the English. I'm trying to wait and see where he puts his king. And my opponent very craftily is also waiting to see what I'm gonna do. Now, if he goes queen side, I'm gonna try to go b5 at the correct moment. And if he goes king side, then I wanna go f4. So hence why I've played it like this. Um, now let's try to exchange off that knight or at least get c6 ideas on the board. Um, makes sense. I mean, okay, it's a normal... I've had this kind of thing... I think it's fair to say thousands of times in um, uh, chess, blitz chess, any kind of chess before. So I certainly understand this, this type of thing. Now, okay, right, so I'd, I'd love to get some pawn sack line here. Can I try this? Is it rubbish? It's a typical idea. Um, okay, I'm gonna play risky. When do I not play risky? And now try to go for some tactic, eventually releasing the bishop on c8. So here, well, this looks so tempting, I can't, I can't. I can't look at any other options when, the move, when there's a move like that on the board. It's, it's, not, it's not worth considering. 
And OK, I mean, he goes F5 and he, he's managed to close things down. So it's certainly not certainly not too bad. And my idea, get my rook to G8 and go for action on this file. But I've missed this move, knight to G3. I have to admit, I did not see that move, which is very scary for me, actually. Um, he nearly traps my queen with a bishop G5. Can I avoid being trapped here? Okay, now I can take the knight or I can take the bishop. I'm going to take the bishop here. When my opponent may well try it and swap queens off, but of course, like I like I always... Oh, he, now he's going to force the exchange of queens. Okay, good play from my opponent, and uh, he's better now, certainly, because I haven't got my... My, my eight g6 move was pants, as they say in uh, all the chess books. Right, so now new plan. I don't want to take here because this knight comes in. So I'm putting my knight here, but I've got C7 weaknesses. He's got a lot of ideas here. Um, and this is certainly a tricky position. So I'm going to first of all try to eliminate my C7 weakness by moving it. Um, and at least now, I, I'm also now trying to stop him D4ing me. So if I can stop c7 weakness, my bishop on d8 has more loof, as we see now. I wouldn't be able to play this move previously because um, this one would be weak. And uh, okay, now now this is a uh, this is just unbalanced now. I'd say. Okay, so he's going to come in. He has a lovely square for his knight. Mm. That's a very annoying square for his knight, I have to admit, because it hits my d6 pawn, which is very hard to defend. Yeah, okay, I'm going to have to give this one up and try to get my rook here and create counterplay of my rooks here. No point defending passively in chess if you have a choice to defend actively. And that is what I'm trying. Trying, I say trying, because uh, it doesn't deserve to work again, this, this plan. And my opponent defending very well at the moment okay so he's now consolidated his king position okay well again i'm going to keep trying to keep the pressure on him but um it's looking rather dubious because all my pawns are dropping unless i have some little tactic oh he's got that one okay now we're going to be struggling in this ending but my piece is a bit active, so I have some some glimmer of hope here. But uh, when I say some glimmer, it's, it's certainly not more than a glimmer. Uh, okay, good move. He's playing well. Stop playing well. No glimmer if you play well. And okay, right. I need to get this knight in the game. If I get my knight to d4, then happy days. But how do I get my knight to d4? And he's playing quick as well. Knight needs to come in somewhere better. Maybe here, here. But then he... Uh, okay, let's try to get it around this way somehow. An attempt to get it in here. He's controlling that with his bishop. Good move. Keeping my pieces controlled. Good play from my opponent. And now he's controlling my knight again. Good play. Very good play from my opponent. Stopping all glimmer of counterplay that I, I'm trying to get. And now I've fallen for a check. Okay. Well played, sir. We will give you that. Yeah, messy game. I shouldn't I shouldn't have really lost that one, I feel. But my opponent played it excellently at the end, so I'm not going to complain too much. And now, okay, right, what's this opening? I don't know. I'll try this one. Let's just try this one. It looks like fun. Um, maybe it's just rubbish as well, of course. Okay. Uh, what, what what was I trying to do there? Any anyone anyone tell me what was I what was trying to achieve in my last move? Certainly not. Uh, you won't see this in the books on how to refute the. Is that a move? God, I don't know what's happening here. What a weird opening this one is. Um, weird. It's just weird this one. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Now, in the opening, I don't like playing without development, so. Let's get these pieces in the game. Okay, I think he should have gone e5 there. I don't know why he's necessarily allowed me to put a pawn on d4. 
That's that's something which, if I was my opponent, I would not allow. Now I've got a nice hold here, you see. Positionally speaking, of course, better for me. But it may all be about the king because of the opposite side castling here. Let's eliminate that one. A very strong piece if I can get rid of it. I'll be happy. And the one move I want to stop him playing at the correct moment is e5. Um, and this is always a good defensive square for the knight. His knight comes back, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll now play f3 and play it like this. And just, just take this pawn. Well, if I take the pawn, he takes there, doesn't he? So got to watch out for tactics. Uh, okay. Um, right, a bit too positional this game, isn't it? Okay, let's keep the position. I want to swap off bishop. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. Why am I playing so positional? What's got into me today? Because he just goes h6 and g5. And I've allowed him to do this break, which I which I mentioned is the one, one break I want to stop him playing. Oh, dear. Okay, well, I'm going to... I'm going to... I don't like this because I've given him the g file as well. Right, I've learned an important lesson here. Don't bother playing positional chess, Simon. It doesn't suit you. As soon as you start flaffing about playing, oh, that's a nice positional move. No. Checkmate, Mr. Williams. Checkmate. That's what I need to do. Okay. Checkmates. Let's go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay, and he, he's got a nasty idea there, hasn't he? Probably wants to, ooh. Nasty. Nasty man. And, of course, if he gets his bishop there, he's, he's going to be... Right, well, let's let's try b4, c5. We, at least we're going to get a race now. Uh, ooh, something so smelly about... Okay, race, race, race. Do, 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 do. I've got to try to keep it as closed as I possibly can. And race. Okay, here we come. The race is on. The race is on, ladies and gentlemen. See, as soon as I start attacking, life is happy again. You know? No positional chess, Mr. Williams. This is something. Come on, just attack. Have it. Have it. Okay, well, this looks very, very dangerous for my opponent now, does it not? Surely. Surely. Surely I'm I'm ahead here. Okay. He's speeded up, though, isn't he, all of a sudden? And, right. Let's just bring them all in. Come on, your king is not going to survive. I'm first. I'm landing my punch first, and it's going to be a knockout, I feel. If I can take here... Ooh, that king of yours is naked. Naked. So there's an important lesson. Don't bother with positional crap. Checkmate is the end of the game. And, well, I've got to win this game first, but this position is win, lose, or draw. Very, very good for me. Now, he could attempt king here and king here. Now, that just doesn't deserve to work. Does not deserve to work. Like, oh, come on. you got to be having a laugh. You're having a giraffe. You're having a giraffe, as they say in Cockney rhyming slang. You're having a giraffe. You're having a laugh. If you remember Cockney rhyming slang, you find a sentence that rhymes with another sentence. And you make a you make a phrase. So okay, well, rating wise, fourteen points away. You know, I wasn't sure it was possible to get to twenty six hundred before, but I've done it once, so I'm gonna try do it again. And it's like Groundhog Day all over again. And this is all in my DVD, Killer Dutch, which you can buy from gingergm.com. So I analysed this line in some depth. Um, so if you want to play like me, and hopefully I win the game. Now, whenever I've said this in the past, I always lose. If you want to try and... Well, this is interesting open. If you like the look at this for black, and I'm hoping to prove that my DVD is worth buying, I'm going to swing this over, checkmate the king. That's the aim. Then a bye a day by day. Okay, I don't trust this move my opponent has played. Now, I think I'm going to go for a strategy. There's two ways to play. You can either take on e4 or just push with f4. And here I've gone for the secondary strategy. 
Maybe I should have gone bishop e6 though. Maybe that was a better way to play this. Okay, right. let's double on the f file. Uh, I'm not worried about him uh, doing here because I'm going to try to break through over here. Now his pawn structure is bad as well. I mean I can always go b6 but I might as well threaten pawn takes pawn, bishop takes bishop. Explosion. Do you like my sound effects? That's what, no point, no point defending if you can attack. Now, two ideas. Do I take here? I'm, I'm going to take here rather than go f3. f3 was the other idea. And now there should be some action over here, surely. Surely. I mean, I can go queen here. Trying to come into this square. I can even go bishop here, trying to kick this one away. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, well, well let, let's just look at this. Let's just try to get everything lined up over here. Just we're trying to come into f2. And, I mean, bishop b6 was interesting to force this rook away and then try to get a queen c5 check in. Maybe that was better. Ooh, do I have the very nearly a queen f1 check with mate to follow? Uh, well, I'll say very nearly. I mean, nearly's not good enough in this game, is it? Can't see how I'm going to get this one to work. Okay, time to time to now put some uh, defensive moves on. B6. And okay, we'll come back here now because if I can take C4, I expect he will try to sacrifice this. Of course he does. He understands he needs to. And uh, I'll take it. And... Now I have to change change the style somewhat, I think, and go to playing a more positional-ish game. Exchange up. Let's try to keep things positional. Now I can get the queens off, which I will do now. And start playing a type of ending position. But he has good central control, so it's actually far, far from clear. This, this, uh, this position here now. Mm. Okay, down on time. Well, I'm not sure about his last move. I'll be honest, because I thought as soon as I get rid of this knight, now which one do I go to? Let's go here. As soon as I get rid of this knight, I thought my rook has access here. So very unbalanced position, though. Because his pawns are very strong if they get going. So, but my rooks, as Nimzovich said, two rooks on the seventh rank is is bloody good. I think he said in Nimzovich's words. Uh, and of course, Bishop D3, I have Rook A1 checkmate, and I'm threatening Rook E1 checkmate. So okay, thank you, Nimzovich. I owe you a pint next time I see you in heaven. Uh, we haven't tried E4. Oh god, I'm getting near. I'm getting near. I, I tried it last game, didn't I? Well, I didn't like the position I got last game. Uh, well, okay. Let's uh, let's play. Let's play it again. Let's play it again, Sam. And I don't know any theory on this. Scandinavians one opening. I I've never actually looked at, um, which you may be surprised about. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing basically, but. Playing normal moves seems like a very sensible thing to do. So let's go for let's go for that strategy. I want to get knight e5, and if bishop here, can I take there and go knight e5? Takes, 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 knight takes. What do we stand there? Hang on a minute. So let me work out. Takes, 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 takes. Am I pieced down now? I'm pieced down, aren't I? Okay. And uh, wow. Okay. Really want a castle here. Okay, let's defend that d4 pawn. With the idea of going h3, g4, next move. And uh, trying to castle queenside. Keeping uh, maximum aggression in the position. Okay, come on, let's throw them all up, up the board. Here they come. I'm throwing them all up the board. Come on. They're all going up there, son. And... Well, I'm quite happy to get rid of that bishop, actually, I think. I think. Might not be right, but I think. Interesting idea from my opponent. 
I had to be careful to queen b4 check winning a piece there. Um, hence why I played it like this. Now I think I'm still going to go for queenside castling. So let's, let's just play it. And again, as I learned that lesson a couple of games ago, it's all about getting the attack, isn't it? Don't worry about positional considerations. Checkmate. Oh, come off it. No, they're not coming off. No. <laughs> he loves trying to get the queens off this guy, doesn't he? They're not coming off. Not with your king still on this square. I mean, I want to go f5. Open up that king. I mean, I could have swapped queens. It would have been okay for me, but no. No, just no. No. <laughs> okay, right. Um... And well, that's kind of normal position this now, isn't it? Uh, right, well, let's let's stop him castling queenside, or at least make it uh, a bit more undesirable for him to do so. And now, where's he going to put his king? Well, I really don't think he's going to castle that way, is he? He'll be in for a world of pain if he goes that way. You know, an ending now must be good for me, but just don't want to do it today. Okay, quick. I'm going to move quick. Threaten some checks. Maybe a queen f3. I think he should go here. But then I want to go queen f2 and hopefully b6 in some situations. Bishop b5 check. Stopping him castling is, is my main idea. I, I, if he castles kingside, well, I mean, he's literally, he's literally, uh, you know, God, I had some bad analogies. Bending over the table and saying spank me. I was going to say something else, but I won't. You know, like a naughty boy in a Catholic nun school. Oh, he's be he wants he wants it. He wants to be spanked. I will spank you if that's what you want. If you if you enjoy that kind of thing, I'll be the nun. You be the pupil. Okay. Well, I actually said that because my my dad actually went to a school. Um, this is this is getting weirder and weirder. But he went to a school. My dad run by nuns. And it was in the days of the cane. Whoops. And he was telling me if he misbehaved, the nuns would whip him with a cane. Lovely. So I'm now taking the role of a nun. And this is, I'm not going to say my dad, it's just getting too weird. Okay. God, this can't, he can't survive this, can he? Is this, is this legal? Is this, is, this is not legal. I don't believe this is legal. Come on. Survive this and I'll be, I'll be absolutely amazed. Maybe he's surviving. He's surviving. <laughs> oh well. Come on. Well, well, there must be a way. There must be. There must have been a way to do this better than I did it. Actually. Um, right. I see another idea. I'm going to go for the f7 pawn now. N idea number two. Rook here. Rook takes f7, followed by queen g6. And this is idea number two. Rook here. He used to go rook c7. Um, and that's my tactical idea, which I'm sure his saw his sure saw saw. Okay, can I take here anyway? Can I? No. Hey, come on. Where's where? I can't believe he's defending this. Can't believe it. it just looks so. It looks so suspect. My opponent's plans, but he he's he's now. Oh, rook f6. Oh, come on. Put that in your pipe. Let's turn on the turbo charge now. Turbo charge, here we come. Du, 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 du. Turbo charge attack. We're coming for you. Right. Oh, he's still trying to get the queens off. Okay, now I'll get my piece back. And bang! Bang! And uh. can we go for this way? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if this works or not. Oh, 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 God. Has he got a draw here? No, we don't want to draw. Oh, well. I have to say, I'm winning a lot of these games on time. Um, but as I said before, that is half the game. That's half the game. And I know what to do against this guy. A tack. A tack is the key. Okay, right. Well, I have to say, we had this opening before. My opponent played it craftily. Now, instead of going knight c6, let's try and 
control this d5 square here, which looks like a, a more sense. This is another way you can play. Put the knight on c7, play like this. This has been a tried on a tried and tested way. I saw a lot of Russian grandmasters when they dabbled with the Dutch defense used to do this maneuver c6, knight to c7, and it's probably a safer way to play because. If you remember the game two rounds ago, you keep control of this important square here. So he's gone for some action in the center. I'll play my normal queen e8 maneuver. Maybe he should go g4. Looks like a, um, because now my queen comes here, it's surely a little bit annoying on this uh, long diagonal, is it not? Coming to c2 with a bishop, this kind of idea. And this is why sometimes the knight here is not so, you know, not so good because I kind of want it to come into b4. All right, bring the rook somewhere, which looks vaguely sensible. And, you know, at some point, if he, he's got to decide where to put that king. Now, if he goes here, I was hoping that this little cheeky move might be dangerous for him. But he actually has pawn here. Bishop takes knight g3. Which I missed. I have to admit. I missed that one. Because pawn takes knight takes would be game over. But knight here, queen here, bishop here is, is game over for, for me. So that was annoying. Annoying. Uh, okay, but it's still, still obviously. I say obviously. It's actually not too obvious that I've got a lot of play here. But this, this, his king's a little bit open. My knight is dangerously placed. You've got to stay positive in this world. And if I get my queen to the h file, it will be checkmate. So, let's bring as many pieces towards this king as he can. Knight to f4. And now this queen wants to come over to this square. Obviously. So, very good move for my opponent. That's a good move move I, I i certainly i certainly missed very good move and that stops everything mm -hmm. well that's that's annoying very annoying and now now i'm really struggling actually after that excellent move oh, i thought it's looking good for me actually in 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 actual fact but uh okay yeah he's he's certainly Certainly, uh, oh god, certainly putting it where the sun doesn't shine. Ah, get so near 2600 as well. I had a good position again. He's he's playing very well. I mean, I just missed this little tactic. Good defensive move from my opponent. And well, I, I mean, I think there's only one correct move here, and that is the correct move. Oh, okay. It's now, we're now going to go until I either win another game or I lose one. Win another game until I get to 2600 or lose. So, okay. Change of openings now. Back to my normal D4 opening. Uh, come on. And, right. Well, there's a couple of moves you can play here. I'm going to go for a dubious yet super aggressive line. And this is where you castle queenside and you don't care. It's a dubious, I know it's dubious, but sometimes the best things in life are dubious. Okay, so here we go. Shows you I'm in an angry mood. And just to. Okay, well, I'm not worried about that. Come on, Harry! Has not done anything yet, so it's time he bloody did something. And, right, so what's this like? Well, let's go, let, let's, I'm not even gonna bother recapturing. I'm going crazy, crazy. I'm going local, local. Okay, right. Come on, crazy. <laughs> ah, all right, all right, crazy. Crazy doo doo. Right, okay. And now what more can we do? 
Okay, do I do I defend this piece? Now if I get rid of this knight, it's checkmate. Well, what about I what about sometimes you have to look after the little guys? Well it's not so little, he's a bishop. If he takes here, I'm gonna take with a pawn and my rook is rampaging. Okay, right, come on. So where are the tactics here? There should okay, now now my bishop comes back, of course. It's done its job, it comes back, it threatens the queen. And next move, I'm gonna plonk this in your cup of tea so you can smoke it. If he takes, I have queen h7, check mate. So he blocks that down. And this check looks so obvious. Very good move for my opponent, blocking, blocking my ideas up. Well, let's, we have to go in, of course. There's no point going back. Now, is is there... Is, okay. Okay, come on. Come on. There must be, there must be some forcing move here. Now, if I take here, he takes here. Okay, we'll, we'll take this one. We'll take this one. Now he can take my knight as well. I'm hoping he will get himself in all sorts of trouble on the h file. Now if he, okay, so he's played a sensible move, trying to exchange queens off the board. He's defended this, you know, and uh, now, uh, now actually I'm in trouble, am I not? Oh, I've got to keep coming forwards. Mm, uh, he just takes here, doesn't he? Ah! Ah! All right, come on. Keep trying. Well, keep punting, as they say. Thing is, if I if I move this, he can now he takes the queens off and he takes here, and uh, it's just rubbish. I have to keep the queens on, but I can't keep the queens on the board. Um. My attack has fallen through. He's defended very well again. Very good defensive play. Really annoying. Okay. Looks like this will be the last game. Yeah, it was flowing. The attack was flowing there. Because now I think you can take the knight. Worst case, I, I don't have enough on the H file here. But at least I've elected to give... Well, okay. Well, let's keep my knight now. And play quick. Come on. Still play in the position. Not sure I should have done that. And of course, I'm trying to play very quick because my position is rubbish. It's a kind of bishop ending. Not so clear if he goes into that. So. King is not a happy, not a happy uh, fish. And time is not happy. Nothing's happy. Ah, oh, fuck a duck. Oh. Oh. Okay, one more. <laughs> okay. Right, let's talk him out. I'm just gonna try to, just gonna try to win a couple of games now. All right, get get this roll going. Okay, let's... defended. He defended excellently in the, the last game. He seems to be a very good defender, so it's quite a interesting competition because I'm attacking furiously and my opponent is defending. Uh, I, I must, I must admit, excellently. So it's interesting. Now, typical dragon here, where I have to always watch out for e5. Is the move I'm keeping my eyes on. Right. Well, if e5 now, I'm gonna just go knight d8. And I'm not sure if that's good or bad. 
Have I fallen for a tactics? Takes, takes, takes. I'll have rook here. Knight takes here at the end. Well, let's let's see. Let's see this one. Might not be so bad. Also have rook takes c2, so I feel well, I think I'm gonna take on c2. And now play this one. This is what I wanted to do. And if I can take on e4 or even just take the knight, you know, take the knight is just positionally if he goes knight d5, I just take the knight. Take on e4 may be good, but it also has some potential problems. So this is why my opponent has gone for an alternative. Which doesn't look too too scary for me, I have to admit. Pawn up and my bishops are gonna be fantastic. How does he coordinate his pieces here? I mean, okay, he can try to attack this somehow, but it's, uh, it's pro some problems for him in these tight positions. Okay, so let's just take take as many. Luckily, my bishops cover every entry point for his rook, and if his rook could get in my position and he doesn't fall for a back ranker, then you know this is another game, but. This is not possible. So, uh, this is looking very bad for him now. Yeah, and understandably, he could play it on maybe, but it's it was not good. Oh, he's actually declined the, the game now. Well, there you go. There you go. He's had enough. He's had enough. And uh, he's he, he doesn't want any more. He said, okay, I've had enough. Thank you very much. So... He's decided to to end it there, and if we look now, I'll quickly show you. Um, well, the ratings. I don't know if I can. Let's just move this over here somehow for you. No, it can't do that. Don't know what happened there. Well, I'm twenty five seventy five. So the next video is going to be a big push to try and get to um, the magical mark again. Oof. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.